Libra. Welcome back to the channel, Libra Empress Light. It's me, Tony. Gonna be doing your channel messages for this afternoon. Look, we're outside again. <laughs> so I get to project. Now, the last couple readings I had um, were pretty low in value. So, you know, try to be a little considerate. Coming to the reading, liking the reading, subscribing to the channel as well. If you happen to resonate with the readings that you um, that you get today. Yeah, I'm outside, so I get to look at people and look at their subtle tattoos and the subtle ways their eyes dart back and forth and all the different races of people. The fabrics that they wear, the clothes that they uh, wear, the way that they move. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm dressed in all black today. Got to start protecting my energy again, man. I've been feeling like crap lately, Libra. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get into your love energetics today, per usual. You know, I got to give my uh, beginning read rant. And I think I'll start doing your star messages and moon messages at the end of the reading. All right? Not sure if that's something that you guys have been liking so far. But, yeah, I'll continue to do the, uh, the star messages. But, yeah, I have... Um, I've been feeling great spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. But my body is not holding up right now and then i've been uh, starting like this cleanse or like this detox and the food that i've been eating is making it even worse so i cut out the sugar but carbs right so i try to limit myself to like um just like sandwiches in the afternoon and um of course like in the morning time but even like the the wheat bread that i'm eating all these different five grain breads the carbs literally um it turns into sugar in the body. So it's like, I'm getting like weird arthritis pains. <laughs> like, um, yeah, just all types of weird pains over my body, man. So I know exactly what to do. You know, the lemon uh, drink detoxes and uh, salmon, get my cruciferous vegetables. And I'm like, wow, why is my body falling apart out of nowhere within the past week or two? But if you guys didn't know, I did have a liver transplant about 19 years ago, I would say now. So, yeah, these things are starting to catch up with me, right? Just like everyone else, the more you age, <laughs> you don't feel like such a spring chicken anymore. But it's crazy because I look young and I act young, but my body's like, you have forgot that you had a liver transplant. Like, I'm not even supposed to be outside right now. That's the crazy part. Like, the doctors told me that I would have to live in a bubble and that I can't go outside. But as I go outside, I feel a little bit better. The problem is picking up germs from literally everything. If I sit down, I have to worry about drugs. If I, if I touch a doorknob, I have to worry about drugs. Like, um, not drugs, but germs. I have to worry about drugs as well, right? <laughs> but let's get into it. Messages for Libra today. What does Libra need to know in, in regards to the matters of the heart? I've been wanting to do this reading actually all day with my North Node in Aries and then at this time Libra being or Venus being in Libra. It's like I've been getting a lot of uh, good surge of energies, even like the work or my career path, right? The subscribers have been going up on the channel. So I get I felt great. It's just that I don't need my body falling apart in this season. <laughs> all right. So what's grounding you today? We have the Queen of Cups, a healer on intuitive or an empath for you here today. This is what's grounding your reading. This is what's currently permeating you. Of course, we get into love messages. So it's going to be the energy coming towards you. A Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, a Knight of Cups. I was about to say the King of Cups already. But yeah, so there's a romantic offer coming towards you here. This could even be um, someone that's very comedic coming towards you. Or again, it could be a healer. Mm, maybe a poet as well. It falls in line with like a rapper, that sort of thing. Maybe a singer or a dancer. Also getting choreography. Yeah, choreography with the full card, the way her stance or kata is. But the full, of course, is Aries Major Arcana, taking a leap of faith, going on an adventure or uh, the fool's journey, traveling. So we got romance and change. So yeah, we got, <laughs> I guess, a new romantic partner coming towards you. We want to make sure that we get messages for those already in the relationship, but typically, 
this is a very niche category on YouTube, right? And usually when people are doing very good in their relationship, right? Um, very good in their relationship. People don't know what tarot is and they don't come to tarot, right? It's kind of like when you get a best friend and you stop hanging out or you get a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you stop hanging out with your best friends. <laughs> Once people get in that successful relationship or those twin flames match up with those soulmates, they don't watch tarot anymore. But we have a Sagittarius coming towards you. A traveler and be two fire sign energies. And we know the knight is a traveler, comes in on, on a horse. So yeah, a adventurer and a journeyer. Life's journey. Six of Pentacles, vision, balance, equal give and take. But this is the seven pentacles. I'm not sure why it's at six. You see, the energies are all off. Or at least my energy is off. That'd be a nice, deep, cleansing shower today. I swear I like lather like twice. So I wash my hair. <laughs> uh, and that's the thing. I haven't had food yet. I think I might want to get food. But it's like, I don't want to eat any more cold subs and put more bread into my body. I guess it'll just be fruit. Maybe I'll get me a nice big plate of salmon. I want to do vegetables, but I like my vegetables warm. Why am I talking to you about this? <laughs> the moon card? Pisces, energy, Cancer, Scorpio. So yeah, definitely someone very intuitive coming towards you. Someone very, um, I want to say energetic as well, but someone very emotional. Or they have an emotional side um, about them. Maybe you have uh, water placements somewhere on your chart as well, a fire placements, Libra. I know for me, myself, I'm an Aries moon and a Cancer rising. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords, rest and sleep. So it seems like this person, huh, I wonder what this is. <laughs> this person wants to come in and romance your socks off, right? But it could be known as uh, or seen as like a Netflix and chill. Oh my God. This dude looks like the uh, the autistic mystic. I literally just saw this dude just walk past me. I wonder if he's in Flo if he lives in Florida. I don't really watch too many of his content. I mean, I've been watching Tarot for over four years now. Probably only watched maybe three of his videos. But I have like very photographic memory, and I read people very well. This guy looks just like the autistic mystic. Let's see here. We got the Queen of Swords. You showing up in your energy as the independent individual. Possibly a, a counselor in this situation. An advisor, maybe. This could even be you documenting, writing, illustrating, or a content creator, blogging, or editing. Hmm. This could be uh, making a choice between... Um, is this something coming towards you? Like something, the fool here. So she comes out on top of the fool. So I don't know if this is some sort of a new journey or if you're making a choice between romantic partners that's coming towards you. Again, fool Aries, the world Sagittarius, the moon, Piscean energy. The seven of cups, deep intuition here. So someone has a lot of worldly knowledge and yes, someone definitely has the option to go traveling or possibly has multiple options or multiple destinations in mind, kind of like a bucket list, like myself, right? I need to find myself in New York, California, Texas, Atlanta, and maybe I'll be back in Florida once I have money to settle down and retire in this place. I don't know, it's just so many people keep moving here, so many foreigners, right? And then traditionally it's been known to be um, the place that older people come and retire. But it, everything is so expensive here now. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles while I'm talking about money. Yeah, the Wounded Warrior, a Journeyer. This could be someone working on their finances or fighting to maintain the things that they already have, this person that's coming towards you. It could be an entrepreneur here. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of fear here. Mm. This is fear and anxiety. Maybe something hidden. Comes out on top of the moon card. I'm not getting desperation, but it is popping into my head. 
Yeah, this person is probably like an overthinker or always has something on the mind. This could be dreams as well. So something's bothering this person in their sleep. This could be bad sleep or, you know, how they say good sleep, get good sleep. It's like, how? This person can't get any good sleep. Or when they do sleep, they have bad dreams or something like that. It could also be oversleeping. The first card out is the sleep card, the four of swords, which is resting or reflecting, right? Recuperation, it says. And then the last card that I drew was the Nine of Swords on top of the moon. People can definitely oversleep sometimes and they can wake up um, more tired, right? That's like bad sleep. It's not a good quality sleep. So I don't know if you need to change your bed, um, move your room or your house around, change up the feng shui. That definitely affects the, um, the yin yang in your surroundings. Maybe a nighttime regimen, nighttime tea or something like that. Fun fact, I used to know a guy when I, was, when I was in high school. I used to know this guy. He was like, he had to be 50. <laughs> he used to drink coffee to fall asleep. And I used to be like, why don't you just drink hot coffee? Two of Cups. On top of the Knight of Cups and Four of Swords. So yeah, someone wants to come towards you. They want to romance, with, romance you. They want to get very sensual with you. Because notice I haven't really pulled too many wands here. There's a Nine of Wands, which... Along with being a wounded warrior, it could be sexual frustration, right? Or being physically scarred here. But in this row, it's more like sensuality here. So I don't know if this is like a massage coming towards you or a Reiki. But you definitely have the two of cups relationship coming towards you. It's a soulmate energy. Clarifying the queen of swords on top of the fool is the eight of pentacles. So yeah, you definitely, this person that's coming towards you, they could be working on a business. Or they can be one of those type of people that's not necessarily high strong, but they're very anal about um, mm, the time they spend on work and the time they spend on romance. Very thorough individual. I would say that they are very uh, accountable, like responsible. They have a lot of faith here. Yeah, an eight coming out after an eight speed, seven of cups in the world. So yeah, this person's a traveler. Or um, the world could be the World Wide Web or the internet. So this person does a lot of online work, possibly has a website, and they have definitely a lot of people coming towards them. Multiple options with the Seven of Cups. Constant back-to-back -back communication. Um, Eight of Wands. We get the Five of Wands on top of the Nine of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. This is fighting or chaos. Some sort of a physical conflict. Mm -hmm. Possibly a physical discipline as well. Maybe um, training. It's going to be some sort of a financial training. Not really sure what I'm getting from this row. We have the page of swords. Note taking. Yeah, get a dream journal here. Or this person may already have a dream journal that's coming towards you. I'm not sure if they're spying on you and that's why they're maybe they're having recurring dreams about you as well this could be like uh astral traveling during their sleep maybe they're traveling to you the page spying or taking notes education with the nine of swords overthinking or nervousness right mental illness right mental anguish and then while you sleep the dreams here pisces moon what's hidden esoteric knowledge or occultism decoding the dreams so your person may mm, I'm looking at this in two different ways someone that knows how to uh, decode dreams or someone that works with a dream journal yeah which kind of makes sense this person is very detail oriented here with the Knight of Pentacles Virgo energy let's go ahead these are all, have all been extended readings <laughs> I guess that's the new uh, the theme for um, the next couple of weeks or the next month or whatever the case may be. Yeah, this is an entrepreneur, a hierophant, someone with uh, integrity or someone possibly traditional. Mm -hmm. This is a marriage card as well, right on top of the Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Four of Swords. Yeah, it's giving me honeymoon vibes. This person wants to come in swiftly uh, with romance, a relationship, um, yeah, and uh, solidifying this connection here. Again, this could be like a uh, a teacher or some sort of a, uh, an entrepreneur here. 
Taurus major arcana guidance, so spiritual or religious uh, boundaries or uh, integrity that this person has. Four of Wands, mm -hmm. a best friend. Mm -hmm. This could even be a home business. Uh, this could be a business or entrepreneurship out of a home, but of course it's a twin flame card. Comes out on top of Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool card. So this could be rushing into a relationship here. Very powerful, strong relationship. Someone feels a connection with someone. I don't see them being the fool, although the fool is here. It's just that they could be taking the action of the fool. This could be like a child or you know, like someone being giddy about a relationship. Like it could be excitement or having faith. Maybe someone prayed for a relationship. Right? Sounds funny, right? But most people, when they make a wish, they don't necessarily add the, de the details into that wish. And they wonder why it doesn't work out. It's like alchemists back in the days, the guys that used to work with all those elements, right? And different powders. And they didn't mix it right. It blew up in their face, right? So don't make fun of someone that prays, right? <laughs> a family that prays. Someone that prays about relationships, right? Because half the time, the people that you know that did not meditate or pray on a relationship or had self-love for myself or, or had self-love for themselves, they, um, yeah, their, their relationships weren't really successful. It wasn't a blessed or anointed relationship. You remember on the lovers card in the original tarot or pretty much any tarot deck, the lovers are being blessed by an angel, right? Counter to the devil card, right? When we see people, um, which is a it's a it's a it's a contract, right? It can be seen as a marriage contract. They're usually shackled to each other mm -hmm. for whatever karmic reason. But I just went on a tangent. Let's clarify the middle row here, the Nine of Cups, which fulfillment. Ooh, this person's this person's coming towards you. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the World card. <laughs> yeah, they're wanting to become inundated with your energy. Mm -hmm. This could be a, a, yeah. If it's not a water sign, it's someone that has strong water placements. As I say that, the hangman comes out very enlightened individual they could see you this way this could be a pause or a hang up or um what would the joke be this would like um being stopped in your tracks by something that uh, catches their attention right so maybe you caught this person's attention and they're there and they're in this uh this hangman state they're over here having these uh these uh, enlightened dreams about you <laughs> Astral traveling and whatnot with the eight of wands and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Can't hide from me. How you gonna try to lie to a psychic? All right, we still got one more row. The king of wands shows up in the fourth row. King of wands on top of the page of swords, nine of swords, and the moon card. So yeah, dreaming about this king of wands here. Now, this could be a lot of creativity as well. This could be causing someone's sacral chakra to get fired up. So whatever you want to do with it, right? I mean, if someone turns you on or if they're your muse, what are you going to do about it, right? The romance has to come through something. It has to come through art, poetry, or um, whatever the case may be. Um, it can come through dreams as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a reader, I've had, um, I had women that I know and don't know come to me in my dreams. And it's like, all right, you crossing, you crossing the boundaries. Man. Let's see the cherry. Yeah, this is a psychic individual, possibly a cancer. Yeah, they have cancer somewhere in their chart. A lot of traveling. This is a strong individual. They have a lot of willpower, right? And again, it's this transformation is me as well as you go around getting enough experience. So this could be a traveling merchant, a traveling entrepreneur. Does not have to be. Again, we have the internet here. So there will be traveling, people traveling toward you, or uh, this could be advertisement as well. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords right next to each other. Seven of Cups being mysterious, but it's having multiple options here. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This is all in the second row going across. So, I don't know. Maybe someone has... Um, maybe um, there were... Typically, it would be like someone that's afraid to speak in public, but they got over that fear. Yeah. So, a salesman or something like that. Let's see what else we have here. Knight of Pentacles. 
got some Asians in the crowd. Okay, okay. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. Trust. Yeah, they're bringing in this offer. It comes out right on top of the Four of Wands. Yeah. They may even go out of their way to show you how much they care about you or how much how serious they are about bringing you this offer because there's there's a Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool card here. I saw something like that earlier. I was like, look at this older simp being a... <laughs> but I mean, it's like that sometimes. Like some dudes, they, they fall head over heels. I mean, we would expect our women to do the same thing for us, right? To do whatever I say or whatever. Uh, the, 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 how do I... Because I think she was wanting like a cup of coffee. From like way across the room and they were already like sitting down at the table like eating right and she's like i want some coffee i don't even think they knew each other i think they were just sitting at the same table and it was like having a little small conversation and he was like anything for you and he got up and he went got her some coffee i had an interview that went like that one time they liked me so much that they told me a joke at the end of the reading they're like the chick was like oh you like miami heat i was like yeah she's like done you got the job her um Caucasian. Well, he was um, British, but he worked here. This is like when I worked for um, Medicare and Medicaid, their vision department, helping people find glasses and getting uh, eye surgery and all that type of stuff. And she was like, well, what if I need you to get coffee? I was like, is that is that what I'm getting paid $16 an hour for? And yes, yeah, she's like, all right, perfect. You got the job. So, yeah, it all depends, right? I mean, Your resume usually speaks for itself. Nowadays, I look at it in a different way. I'm offering a job, my uh, abilities, my skills, or my talents. It's not necessarily that I need them, right? The Eight of Swords comes out on top of the hangman. So someone can be in deep, in deep thought, contemplation about this. What do we have here? Fighting? They're worried about something here. They're Oh, they're worried about either their health or they're worried about your health here mm. we got the last card for libra ten of cups they do see wish fulfillment with you here this whole last row here we got the ten of cups which is for me it's the ultimate love right it's having that nine of cups which showed up in the reading it's having that nine of cups for oneself but being able to share it with a community or a group of people. So this could be multiple options or a lot of people that fancy this individual or this is how they see you. They have a lot of, they have a 10 of cups type love for you here. So they may want a family with you here. Here's the sex passions. That 10 of cups came out on top of the king of wands, which is a strategic leader, very beautiful, a model, right? An athlete, an adventurer, whatever the case may be, which came out on top of the page of swords. So they've been spying, you, spying on you or taking notes, trying to figure you out. Nine of Swords and the Moon card, right? Earlier in the reading, I was saying that they were dreaming about you. So, yeah, this could be not necessarily an obsession, but something that they definitely have been thinking about. If they haven't been dreaming about this, they've been thinking about this while they're supposed to be sleeping, <laughs> right? It's nothing new. People sit up and lay up in their bed all night for an extra hour or two on social media, which basically connects us all, right? The world card, the uh, World Wide Web or the Internet. Yeah, look at them staring in their phone, Knight of Pentacles. It's usually the Page of Pentacles, but I can clearly see this person is looking at this mobile device, this cell phone or whatever tablet peripheral device like, hmm, comes out in the same row as the Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool card. Like, yep, I can see myself going places with this person. <laughs> Yo, this person's funny. <laughs> Do we even get the bottom card? No, we didn't get the bottom card yet. What's hiding at the bottom? The Five of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, so someone's worried about health here. Or um, your person could be a doctor or a nurse or some sort of a healer, right? They may even deal in teas and suits and that sort of thing, right? The Four of Cups. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they could be some sort of a guru. Um, meditation, that sort of, that sort of thing. Um... Laughter is possibly a part, a uh, big part of their um, of their health regimen. Like they block off negative emotions, like they try to stay away away from uh, negative emotions and that sort of thing, right? 
Well, let me take a look at your major arcana because we're already at what almost 25 here. Time flies, doesn't it? So for you here, Libra. Water sign energy definitely showing up in the reading today. We got Pisces showing up twice in the moon and the hangman. I actually look at the moon as, and I don't even really see any other major arcana like this. I know it's Pisces, but I look at, um, and this is how I read for all major arcana. So even if it's, a, it's an earth major arcana like the higher font, I'm like, yep, that's earth sign energy. It could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but usually, right? With it being the name on the card, it's the indication that it's Taurus. But yeah, uh, I look at the moon as Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But anyway, Pisces twice, so you could be dealing with a deep, uh, okay, a, a deep dreamer or a deep sleeper. They're very enlightened, so they may they must know some sort of a secret knowledge, right? Again, um, either it's either religious or something like that. They're either super religious. It could be spiritual as well, but this is like deep esoteric knowledge. It reminds me of Alistair Crowley. Do we have a feminine that's like that? Well, of course we do, right? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Cancer. So again, a traveler, a mover here. Someone with a lot of willpower. Someone very loving and nurturing. Fire sign energy, the strength in the world card. So this person may be, have some sort of an online platform or the leader of a tribe or something like that, or they have a lot of followers here and they're the center of attention. This person could possibly have strong DNA or appear very beautiful, right? For women or very masculine and strong for men here. The fool, along with the rest of those fire signs. So yeah, we have all three fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius showing up. So your person is very passionate. They have a very strong presence wherever they go. You hear a fond earth sign energy major arcana with Taurus, so a hard worker, right? Of course, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a hard worker, or if you're some sort of a religious leader, right? It can be perceived as hard work. High court cards. I like to see kings and queens getting together. You have a king of wands and a uh, queen of swords. We have your knight of pentacles and your page of swords. So, vetting each other out here. Yeah, you and your person. Or well, the person that's coming towards you, if they're embodying all these characteristics, uh, yeah, they're, they're vetting you out. But I usually try to channel the energies that I feel that's currently that's surrounding you and the energies that your person... Because usually it's like a mirroring effect, right? Two people staring at each other or two people trying to figure each other out. They wanted to come in with this romantic offer, though. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Wanted to take you out on a date. Wanted to offer you a gift. Wine and dine you. Yeah. King of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you both could be content creators. Artists, illustrators, dancers. Maybe someone has a page, uh, YouTube, or it could even be TikTok. So, I mean, because this could be a model. So, whatever the case may be, Instagram. Maybe someone does fitness videos or they do like chef videos or something like that. Or whatever they, they're, or whatever the case, their talent may be. Now we got a bunch of numbers here. A bunch of them. Two of Cups. So celebrations. I mean relationships, sorry. Yeah, it was weird. The last time I did readings, I'm like, I think I think there's two celebrations cards. One of them is the Three of Cups. I can't remember what the other one was. But the Two of Cups, and then we have Fours showing up. So, solidifying this. They've been thinking, Four of Swords, solidifying this relationship with you. So they may be coming towards you. It's a slow moving offer with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, what, where are the Fives? Yeah, competition. Or again, this could be the way that they feel about you, that maybe you're very chaotic or something like that. Ooh.
that's a no bueno. But didn't they say something about when a bird poops on you, that's good luck? <laughs> People just say anything, huh? So we go from the fives to no sixes, although the nines and the sixes are reversibles. We do got three nines, but we'll hold those off. So no sixes. We jump over to our seven, seven of cups and seven of pentacles. Yeah, they're wanting to invest seven of pentacles, right? Wanting to grow or garden something with you. Mm -hmm. The seven of pentacles is usually a smoke screen, but for me, it's intuition, right? It's your intuition lighting up for someone using their intuition. They're getting butterflies. They're getting that gutted, that that uh, that feeling in their stomach about you. That that this could be something that um they can invest in here. We do got three eights. So yeah, very powerful alchemist, right? Eights, the infinity symbol. So someone that's very powerful, someone very magnetic here. Yeah, they think about things a lot before they make a decision, a solid decision, and then they're very thorough and persistent about the things that they want to manifest there with the Eight of Wands. Nines. Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. This person says, you are mine. I'm getting, what is that, a bird or something like that? Or an animal that says mine, and then you find a flock of them, and they're like, mine, mine, mine. It's how this person feels about you. Yeah, they're coming in for this Ten of Cups. <laughs> okay, Libra, you have somebody on your trail or someone that's, um, yeah, they've been dreaming about you. They've been learning about you. They wanted to come towards you with an offer here. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Um, they see you guys, because what do we have? The King of Wands and the Queen of Swords? Huh. It reminds me of uh, Libra and Aries. And then we did see Aries in the reading. So I'm not sure if this is opposites attracting or you guys have, I'm not sure if you come from a different culture or a different race or um, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe it's like peanut butter and jelly, right? <laughs> you got two different things that come together to make the perfect treat, right? Yeah. And then um, the four of cups and the five of pentacles and again, queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. Break that message and then your star and moon message and then we'll be ending out the day. All right. Messages for Libra. What's our break deck message today, Spirit, for Libra? I was thinking about doing um, the elemental signs, but um, so first of all, we got a jumper, Ace of Pentacles. So definitely a windfall of abundance coming towards you. This could be an opportunity to uh, for a new growth. Plant a seed, invest in something financially or your health-wise so it can grow, right? It's also my commitment card, the Ace of Pentacles, a wedding ring, as it's been for the last year. So you definitely can have a new commitment coming towards you, whether it's a job or a relationship, right? If it's a job, this could also be an upgrade in money. If this is a relationship, this could be taking a relationship to the next level. As I see the Knight of Pentacles as an engagement, right? For me, the Page of Pentacles, it's a token of appreciation. It could be a small offer like a promise ring or a gift saying I like you or something like that. But the Knight of Pentacles is getting serious. That is coming in with that offer, that engagement. And the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, that's already that's already husband or wife. <laughs> so yeah, an Ace of Pentacles, definitely money's coming towards you. So if you've been working a lot, yeah. There's jumpers all over the place. Yeah, four of pentacles. Mm -hmm. A change in your finances if we add the ace with the four. But yeah, being very grounded, being very stable, be being very, I'm getting all knowing with your monies and your health. Mm -hmm. So this person could be very, um, mm, maybe they wear a tight belt when it comes to their finances here. I mean, we should all be responsible with our finances. What's the break deck message? Four of Cups and the Two of Cups. Yeah, Six of Cups. <laughs> so, yeah, relationship coming towards you and distractions. They've been turning down offers until you come in here. Right? And again, like I said, if we add these two up, they're the same suit. So if we add them up, this is spiritual flirtation. This person wanting could be coming in, if this is a past relationship, with an apology here. Um, if this is new, yeah, this could be spiritual flirtation. Maybe you've known this person in the past, possibly. I don't want to dig deep, deep into it because it wasn't necessarily the Six of Cups. Yeah. But yeah, you have a new friend coming towards you, right? So uh, 
you may want to vet this person out. Yeah, I definitely see positivity coming here. This could be like someone that you could work well with. You may find that um, you may actually yeah, take things a step further in a relationship, right? It usually happens that way. Our co-workers usually tend to people that we date the most. I'll look up your star messages for the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So we have a bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands. Yeah, there's that. this is your twin flame here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, they, they probably um, differ from your usual type here. Because I didn't get the King and Queen of any of the... Um, like, I didn't get a pair here. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So, so for you today, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Your moon message is spend spend your time and coins wisely. Look out for any opportunities that present themselves. And then the Four of Pentacles, we have uh, greater times are coming for the Four of Pentacles. Manifestation, prosperity, opportunities, order, security, and conservatism. Right? So yeah, that's usually how a tree works, right? You plant the seed, you water the garden, you maintain it, you take care of it. <laughs> Some would even say, say nice things to it, and you watch it grow. So that's what I have for you in regards to your love messages, right? It sounds like the same way you should take care of your relationships, right? If you want to have a successful union, no matter how different people are, right? Again, sensing that this is possibly um, not your usual type. But catch you guys on the next one, Libra. Peace.